I'm over time. I'm going to close with one final thing really fast. Sorry. All right, here we go. One practical suggestion as to how we can stop giving up on people and make room for discipleship is that we have to stop using the mic drop so much. You all know what the mic drop is, right? When you drop such a profound truth bomb on someone that someone feels stunned by your truth and you walk away. You walk away vindicated by what you have just done. Everyone loves the mic drop nowadays. White people love the mic drop. Korean people, we love the mic drop. People who have never seen an MC in their entire lives love the mic drop. <laughs> Christian people, we love the mic drop too, but we call it something. We call it being prophetic. We say we're doing what prophets did. There's two problems with that. The first problem is this. As a person who used to be a worship pastor and a sound engineer, you never drop a microphone. Okay? This guy over here is crying a tear. You don't see it, but I can see it. You're going to damage the diaphragm, and then the worship pastor has to buy a new microphone. But then the lead pastor comes and says, why are you always buying new microphones all the time? And then, you know, this whole thing comes out of us. You never drop a microphone. I'm not kidding. I'm really not kidding ultimately. But on a more serious note, we have to understand that the prophets did so much more than speak truth and drop microphones. Think about Jonah. Didn't Jonah drop the mic on the city of Nineveh? Right? He says, repent or God's judgment will rain down upon you. He drops the mic and he walks away and he ascends the hill. And from that hill, he watches, waiting for God to rain down destruction upon this city. Does God snap his fingers? Does God say, oh, you got them? He says, you care more about a tree that might give you shade than you do about the human beings that live in that valley. God cares about the truth. He does care about the truth, but he also cares about people. Even people who are doing wrong. Am I right? Does God care about wrongdoers and people stuck in ignorance? He does. Think about Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1 contains the best Old Testament mic drop of all time. Where Israel is celebrating the law with no justice. And what does he say? That is detestable. It is meaningless. It's an insult to me. And he drops the mic when he says, stop doing what is wrong. Start doing what is right. Seek justice and defend the oppressed. Amazing. An amazing moment. An stunning rebuke to the people of Israel. But what is the very next verse? Do you guys know? Come, let us now reason together. Although your sins were as scarlet, I will make them white as snow. Though they were like crimson, I will make them into wool. As soon as he drops the mic, what does he do but pick up the shepherd's staff and woo and invite Israel into restoration and to wholeness. My encouragement to all of, this, to all of us today is this. In order to make room for people to grow in reconciliation, we need prophetic balance. Yes, we need the mic. We need to continue to speak truth to power and to injustice and to ignorance. That work is not done. It never will be done. Don't put down the mic ever, ever. But in the other hand, put the shepherd's staff. Walk with people. Live with them. Engage them. Love them. My prayer is that all of us, with the mic in one hand, and the shepherd's staff and the other would participate in God's work of reconciling all people to each other. Thank you so much.